What up? I'm heading over to Abbotsford today. I'm trying to get into this uh, orientation uh, of my uh, little caregiver job. And I'm late. Start this bad boy up. We're going to Abbotsford! <laughs> Right, I'm all set to go. 54 minute drive. And before I go. Alright, alright. Oh shit. Woo! 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 Alright, let's roll! Been popping up. Looks like it's my episode. I'm gonna do it my way. <clears throat> Why jujitsu, man? Uh, I'm not the type of guy to get hit in the face. <laughs> I would cry if I get hit, if I get struck. But uh, yeah, um, this this martial arts of just grappling and the endless possibilities and outcomes of matches, it's really intriguing. It's more than just it's more than just a muscle type. It's more than just beating the guy you know it's it's a big science to everything you know you break moves down you look at it as chess you know you do one move he counters and then you got a counter to the counter oh you don't just have one counter there's two counters oh there's another counter you know so it's just endless it's like an endless cycle pretty much of jujitsu until you get caught but it's cool man that's that's just how it is <laughs> until now one of the biggest things that has changed me uh was uh just the ego thing, man. Just being able to accept losses and just move on. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you win or lose. You know, it's just it's all about getting better. Um, there's a lot of people with different types of goals. You know, you go in there to want to be the best. You want to be the champion of tournaments. You know, and just compete all around the world. And then there's others that just want to stay healthy, want to lose weight. And then there's those that just straight up want to uh, coach kids coach adults be a coach one day run their own gym you know business wise so yeah it's it's really cool man there's there's a lot of opportunities in this back then in 2010 2012 i used to uh i went over to atlanta to go to pro wrestling school because that was a dream of mine to become a pro wrestler and it worked out well i was doing great it's just uh my visa had to force me to go back home so I wanted to go back but then there's a few career changes over time I thought about wrestling long term and like oh hey if you hurt yourself are you gonna have a backup plan I gave it the old old college try after pro wrestling and it just didn't feel fulfilling in my life it, it may have it, it felt great knowing that I could pass something in college because I was never the best uh, academically in school there was just, I just had no drive in school whenever, whenever I was there. Oh, oh. you alright man? Yeah. Oh. I work as a nurse. I went to, I went to work and just like, I just learned how to hate people over time because they're giving me such a hard time and what's crazy is that it wasn't the patients that was giving me the hard time, it was the goddamn, it was the workers man. So yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't a fulfilling career. So I'm a caregiver now. I work at home. I stay at home all day. I go to jujitsu whenever I can. So that's pretty much my life so far, you know. And editing these videos so you guys can watch. 2017. Oh, 69! 69! Oh shit! 69! 69, baby! And walking into jujitsu the first time, you know, not knowing anything, you'd go in there as nervous and. It's, uh, it's, it's a scary feeling, but I, I walked in there with my brother and Zoe. Uh, they got their stories too. They got, they got their episodes on uh, how it started. But just a quick rundown. 
I was dropping Zoe off to uh, her place and then we just casually saw, oh, Gracie. Okay. It just, you know, and then it just kind of popped up in my head like, huh, we got to do something. Because the gym hasn't been doing it for me because you can only do this and this so much at the gym. I, I had no thrive to continue at the gym once I lost weight. Fun fact, I was 196 pounds during nursing school. And uh, weight has always been a problem for me growing up. I was always that fat kid in school. My dad would never, my dad would never like go a day without reminding me that I was fat as a kid. And I hated that. I hated it because he was a fat ass too. Here for the Happy Gilmore shot. One, go ahead. <laughs> my initiative on going to class is just, you know, what's there to learn? What, what else can I learn? What else can I work on? What can I polish on? Yeah, we do have mats at home, but it's just a different feel when you're at the school. It's a great feeling, actually, because you get to learn, you get to make connections with teammates, your professors, your coaches, and you guys just learn along the way. And what's crazy is that when people get discouraged, they kind of just want to back out and just give up. But for whatever reason, it's... Those are the best days to go when you don't feel like going because you're so much more grateful for it afterwards and and it's just that I guess it's just the endorphins that kick in after going to class regardless of if you kick ass or get your ass kicked you're in there you're doing the work and now my hands are clean Yes. What's awesome about jujitsu is also that it doesn't matter who you are or the type of shape you're in, you know, jujitsu really is for everyone because you can use this out in the streets. The main purpose of jujitsu from what I've learned according to YouTube videos <laughs> was just, you know, being able to defend yourself against anybody, any size, shape, strength. Is literally anybody so jujitsu really is for everyone we get at our gym and you see these schools they have the athletic people but you also have like the kids you also have women you all, which is very empowering you guys also have uh, seniors as well and what's crazy is that you see these people in regular clothing you can never tell that they do jujitsu that they never do jujitsu it doesn't look like they do but those are the ones you gotta be afraid of, man. The ones that don't look like much, but low key they kick your ass. Woo! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Continue on Ware Street for one and a half kilometers. All right. Well, looks like I'm here in Abbotsford. I just made it. Uh, two and a half minutes to my destination. So uh, let's check this shit out. All right. I'm here, but there's no parking. What are we gonna do? Looks like I'm not going, guys. Looks like we're going back home. Uh, right. Looks like we all set. Got to get my protein shake and my water and we'll be on our way. Let's go. This damn caregiver meetings all out in Abbotsford making me wake up hella early just to go and talk about, oh, let's take care of our clients. Yeah, you know how? Let's talk to them in a different way where they feel better and make them feel but Man, you don't know who I am, man. Let's go, I'm ready to go. I'm in my Dunder Mifflin shirt. About to get this paper. <laughs> Long day for the meeting. Um, 9:30 to 4:30, long ass day. But I'm chilling out in Abbotsford. I'm gonna take some gas up. I'm, mean, you know, take advantage of uh, the the crazy gas prices. I think it's down to 147. Usually it's like what a good 160, 170 even. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna go and get some food. Uh, meet up with Zoe, and then um, 
yeah, call it a day. Maybe I might go to just later today. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully my gi's been washed, but if not, it is what it is. All right, catch you guys later. Check it out, man. Check it out. I'm gonna close up on this. 139.9, man. Woo! Woo! Oh, it took me 30 bucks to fill this bad boy up. Oh my goodness! It's gonna take me an hour to get home. Ah! What are my intentions with this, uh, with Jiu Jitsu? I want to do a, a world's competition one day. Uh, I plan on opening a gym one day. I want to be a coach. I want to learn a lot. I want to keep learning constantly. I also want to spread just the martial art of jujitsu because it's changed me as a person. I feel so much more confident. I feel so much more healthier. Uh, I feel so much like happier. And it's weird when it's weird when we work there because it doesn't feel like a job. And I feel like this is what the feeling is when you found something that you wanted to do the rest of your life because there's quotes and people saying oh if you find the perfect career you'll never work a day in your life and this is what it feels like man so I'm really after going through everything I feel like for me this is this is my stomping grounds this is what I want to do the rest of my life so you're gonna see a lot of vlogs you're gonna see a lot of Q&A's podcasts me just ranting a bunch of shit um, eventually I want to hold private classes. I want to teach you guys, whoever watches this shit. Hey, you hurt my brother.